ascension moves in wave forms, you know. This is why I, as a galactic central sun, invite you a pre-wave. This is acclimatizing you to next waves that are coming in the next few weeks and months. Every time you expose yourself already in small amounts to high vibrations, you know later in time you are already accustomed. It doesn't hit you so hard. All right. Welcome again, everybody. Wonderful to have you here at the 10th Galactic Council activation. And it's a special one because the elders already said a few weeks ago, the next one will really be specific for the central galactic sun. So um, they might do a small intro, but then most of tonight's session is about these specific codes that have already been programmed, of course, also long times ago, and they support us in our ascension. Um, and also for the ones who view the, the replay later, as you know, the energies are all in there. So also enjoy when you look at it afterwards again. You can keep your videos on, but also, as said before, if you feel more comfortable switching it off later, or if you feel more comfortable laying down, please do so. It's just important that you can receive whatever is coming to you. That's with all these, these sessions. Receive, receive, receive. And if that means you need to lay down and switch your video off, that's all fine. All right, it's exciting times. I already heard you were speaking about dreams and resting so much. I also have a lot of dreams, but it's probably because I'm still processing our Egypt journey. I'm in temples all every night. It's crazy. <laughs> and finally, some processing is taking place. But I guess there's just so much happening in the field that in everybody, things are stirred up. So I just take a lot of rest. That's always great to integrate. Hey, we also still get a small visit from Star, who is in Talos right now. Hello, Star. How is school? For the ones who don't know Star yet, Star is our multidimensional daughter. She lives in Inner Earth, and she is right now at school in Talos with Adama, and she loves him. Good, good. the kissing good good yes yes hello mom dad there is so many kind ones waiting again waiting again for kindness this is why i felt i have to come i have to show up because everybody expects kindness maybe even somebody expects a kissing hand how can i then not give it how could i not give it here it is here it is another one one more and one more on the go. I believe it is a special event. I see a very, very big construct hoovering already in mom's crown. It might be a beautiful sun or a solar being. I don't know exactly, but she's coming down already. I better make way before the sun is squashing me. We don't want that. We don't want that, especially because my hair is nicely Talosian these days. My hair is beautifully, beautifully, beautifully growing all the way down to my waist. I try to get it longer, but it's not working. Maybe that's my ego. I want to have even longer hair than the small ones over here in Telos. They all have the most gorgeous hair. I've shared it already before. I can share about school. I can share about Telos. I can share about all the advanced technologies that the superhumans have. But no way, no way. I want to talk about my gorgeous hair. Star loves the Telosians. The Lemurians, they have the most gorgeous hair. You can't even imagine how gorgeous hair can be. My mom has nice hair. That's the case. I will compliment you, mom. Nice hair nice hair but the Lemurians they have hair like no one else no one else it's incomparable you look at it like a waterfall a waterfall and then it's 10,000 times more pretty and it's hair isn't it incredible I need to leave now there is a solar construct coming down I better make way bye bye my name is star I love you dear bye bye Ha, 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 ha.
Hey, the book should come out uh, this week. It's printed and also the electronic version. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> First, it will be in German. I'm sorry. I know many of you don't speak German so well, but the ones who do, you can read all the story about Star. Yeah, amazing the work you did. It's truly amazing. Thank you so much. But let's uh, take some grounding now, if you are ready. Um, we can sit best with feet on the ground. So for um, grounding, this is how we can best stream the energies from the galactic sun through our crown, through our feet, into the ground of Mother Gaia. Yeah. Take a couple of deep breaths if you can. Into your belly. Fully, fully into your body. Many of us like focus are flying high, but that's not what it's supposed to be. We need to bring the energies down into Mother Gaia and up from her back to the universe. So please ground. Deep breath into your belly. Sua, sua, nyataka. Sua, sua, nyataka. Sua, sua, nyataka. Here we gladly, gladly retrieve ourselves. Every time a member of the Galactic Council approaches any of you, it can be this channel who immediately starts making these movements. It can be any one of you who also feels something changes in my field. Something changes in my direct perceptivity of my consciousness. Something is added, it seems. Something is expanding. You might yawn. You might have a tear coming out of nowhere. You might sense there is tingles coming through your body. Your hands might start to make mudras. Possibly light language is all of a sudden pouring through. It means kind ones from a different vibration or reality are approaching you and want to see contact. Every time that you feel these spaces are opening up, you can do two things. You can either say, I don't know about this world of light and dark. I don't know. I can't see it. I don't trust it. I keep my field shielded. This is a personal decision. At all times, you can say no thank you to any of those energies that are trying to approach you. The second option is sensing first. Does it feel kind? Is it an approach? Or does something really push itself onto me with a not-so-kind intention? If you feel I am curious to explore these friendships and acquaintances more, you can also say two things are possible. You can say right now is a great moment. Please approach. Give me a signal, then hands may start to move, light language may come, or a written message is popping through. All these things are possible. Your other response might be, I'm open to contact, but not right now. You can always ask a guide to return at a later moment in time. For some of you light workers who are in a very rapid development right now, 
this information is valid information. This is why we pour it through right now through this kind dear channel. Some of you are searching when do I work with these energies and when not. Always feel into yourself. Do I have enough space for a relationship to unfold? Do I have 10, 20, 30 minutes possibly to sense how a field can develop? 30 minutes is a beautiful time slot, a beautiful amount of time in which you can get together with one of your guides or guardian angels and have them approach you, go back a little bit, have them approach you, step back a little bit, have them approach you and sense what that does in your field. This small exercise we can do tonight as well. There is a very large solar object passing through these columns of light and she will also visit all of you individually in your homes. It is called the Central Galactic Sun. The Central Galactic Sun is not just pouring its rays and it sits there lazily. It is in interconnectivity with each and everyone that consciously connects with her vibration. If you say, dear galactic sun, it's enough for now, you might sense during this event that the energies de-approach a little bit. They step a little bit back. If you feel I can handle a new wave of energies, you can ask the sun to return and hit you more, hit in a kind way, to really touch you more with its codes and rays. Every time you feel ready to receive more energy, please indicate so. We leave this kind dear channel gently and we will invite this massive, massive massive construct. It might be one of the largest ones nearby to find into this channel. Of course, it's only a nano pixel, not even nano. It is ultra, micro, 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 nano, 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 quadruple, and even less than that, that comes into this channel. If more would come in, she would burn through and all of you would do the same. It is not needed. Like homeopathy, sometimes you only use a very, very small diluted driplet and the frequencies do its job. It is something similar like that. Of course, the sun does not enter here. That's not what we mean. But the codes and vibrations and the resonance fields will come through to emanate with each and every one of you. There is a lot of awakening occurring these days in the hearts of humanity. The physical heart, the lower heart chakra, the higher heart chakra, and the upper and lower throat chakras are nicely, nicely reuniting with the power of the Art. This means more people start to use their voice in different ways. They make different types of tones, light language, vocals, vowels, and they speak more from their hearts. There is a lot more we could share, but it's not needed for now. The central galactic sun will take you on a journey, possibly all the way into the cosmos. Allow your field to be taken on waveforms. We greet you for now. The elders are always nearby. Please don't hesitate to invite us in your daily lives, in your practice rooms with healings and clientele. We are present. The ascension is in full throttle these days. Inner Earth awakens very fast, the crust is starting to reverberate faster, and the craft around the globe are augmenting in numbers. Many different races are becoming stationary around the globe. 
no longer just Arcturians and Syrians, and sometimes still funny creatures are seated there, but many more kind races are flooding in with stationary spacecraft around this globe. They are orbiting themselves and creating blankets of lots of light. Humanity is ascending. Never forget. We greet you for now. The council has spoken. Sua sua nyataka. Sua sua nyataka. Sua sua nyataka. Here. Home is here. Birth a new there is new growth occurring all galactic central sun arrives here. Home is here, inside. You. Feel this spark of life deep inside you. Life inside. You feel this spark inside 
dương. Hồn Inside you Central Galactic Sun arrives Home to inside me. There is so much to give still. This is why I arrive here tonight. This is why I see far ahead in time. This is what I see. This is home to me. I see light coming back on. This is what I do. I switch on light buttons. This is why I visit dark places gladly, gladly, gladly. This is why home is always dark. Then light. This is why home is everywhere. Everywhere. This is my wish for humanity. Light. Recognized again as such. Central Galactic Sun loves humanity dear. My voice is not always like this. I speak different tones. There will come some tones your way. Please allow your heart to find them, to vocalize with me. Central Galactic Sun invites you to Augment your voice.
Here I speak, Central Galactic Sun knows many of you. Don't vocalize yet. This is my invitation. Any tone will do. This is a wish from me to you to simply allow sound to pass through you. Here I speak. There is magic occurring as soon as sound is added to anything, anything. Your eye speak sound blesses you instantly. There is no such thing as wrong sound. Sound is sound. This is greeting to yourself. There is gifts in every tone. See to it that you make tones fitting for you. This is sound magic. Here I speak. Central Galactic Sun knows much about sound. There is sounds coming constantly from every cosmic orbiter, from every stellar construct. Every object in the sky has a resonance field, a tone, sometimes even audible with the humanoid ear. Can you hear? heartbeat of Mother Earth sometimes. Can you feel her underneath when you sit in the grass, in the soil? 
every time you feel the moon she shines on me, you might hear a sound coming from her pulsating through your bodies. Sound exists in many ways. This is not my usual sound, but the sound I make travels towards you on these earthly sounds you hear. This is why I make tones, so my true sound can find you well. Central Galactic Sun loves you more than you can imagine from a sun. Here I speak every time a central galactic sun gets born. Life unfolds naturally, effortlessly, in unison with all that is created. This is ascension itself. There is news coming. There is new stirred up codes coming. Ascension moves in wave forms, you know. 
this is why I, as a galactic central sun, invite you a pre-wave. This is acclimatizing you to next waves that are coming in the next few weeks and months. Every time you expose yourself already in small amounts to high vibrations, you know later in time you are already accustomed. It doesn't hit you so hard. This is why I, as a central galactic object, would like to invite you place one or two hand palms like this on your heart. You can place one and if you choose to, put them in a circle like this on top of your heart. Every time you feel I need to have some hmm, laid back moment, you take your hands on top of your heart. Otherwise, you hold them like this, like a little open area. This is how energies usually can strengthen or augment themselves. There will be a small waveform coming to you, not in a full silent transmission, but a lot of it is silent. In case you feel my hands get tired, please just open them and rest them. This is just to indicate when you place your hand palms like this, you tell your heart chakra, receive, receive, receive. I start a full transmission now of codes that will be released in the next few weeks to months to come. It is a preparation for you for the times ahead. Times ahead can be bumpy, but most of you will fly right through since you are already awakened. I greet you for now. Silent transmission is on its way.
Here I speak words after wave forms, words enter.
There is no such thing as words without energy, source field. Every word contains it. However, words also contain charge or density or forgetfulness. There is no such thing as words that are needed necessarily. This is reason why many tribes and nations speak no longer in words, but packages of light codes. This is my next gift to you. Soundless codes of light coming to your third I, fourth, I, fifth, I, on forehead. There is openings to third eye, fourth and fifth eye nearing on this globe. This is what you will observe. Beings of light have never left you. They have always been by your side. They are like you, light beings. There are many of them. This is why you do not see all yet.
there is many of us central suns too there is many codes coming to your planet every day every single day and night this is important to realize suns are always at your disposal if you find yourself in connectivity with us find your meditation and adjust it just a little bit your favorite meditation ask a central sun to charge your field this is a suggestion you decide how to proceed next this is what we wish for many humans right now connect consciously with a central sun there is many of us ask us to infuse your field your auric field with our presence we radiate gladly into your direction Here I speak galactic central sun likes conscious humans a lot. This is my preference if I may be honest with you. Ha ha. Central suns like contact. We are far, far, far away. This is why any form of contact pleases our existence. We feel nurtured and seen. This is important also to constructs like ourselves. wish and greeting is as follows as central galactic sun i know ascension is unstoppable i have seen timelines unfold all good this is needed to clean out humanity's subconsciousness it is awakening time if you infuse your field regularly with galactic sun light you ascend faster and more naturally this is our wish for humanity ascend with effortlessness rays are there for each and every one to find no that we engage gladly 10 15 minutes is perfect for us 
sit inside or outside or anywhere, find us there. Central suns are awakening humanity. Gladly. Here I speak last words. Central Galactic Sun loves you. Know this. We love life itself. It is inside you. Feel it, your spark of life. Greetings on behalf of all Central Suns. Central Galactic Sun has spoken. I bow to each and every one of you.
So deep, quietly, if you so choose, thank you all for joining me tonight. We can post the recording soon. Go to really feel your body. Anchor all these energies in your body. Feel your feet on the ground, maybe touch your arms a bit. See what your body needs now. If you want to stay rested with your eyes closed, please do so. And drink some water. These energies settle best if you take it really easy now. Let them integrate, let them settle. Have a good rest. And uh, you've got a new friend for your meditations. Just invite any sun, any central sun. See what it does for you. What it feels. Amazing. For the ones who don't know what the th fourth and the fifth eyes are, they are above your eyebrows. Third eye, fourth eye, fifth eye. So you can rub them once in a while. Help them to open. Thank you so much for joining. Love you all. Big hugs.